case of what that turned out to be were in China. According to the Global Times, the city of Xi'an saw a big spike in its divorce rate last month before their lockdown lifted. Makia Turner spoke with a couple experts about how to keep the love alive. We met in 2002. We dated. We broke up. I married somebody else. He married somebody else. He got divorced. I got divorced. And we reconnected through Facebook. And now, seven years and one quarantine later, Maurice and Camila Spence still light up when they see each other, both telling us that this lockdown has only brought them closer. I, I'll be honest with you, it gives you appreciation um, because when you're, in essence, forced to be around somebody the, the whole time, it, it, you're actually... You, you actually see the benefit and actually why you got married. The couple says their key to happiness is respect and communication. Carve out some time to really try and devote to listening to each other. There's also a financial aspect of that, making sure that you're taken care of, uh, communicated with, you know, the people who you're paying bills to. While the Spences are doing well, others aren't so lucky. Between March 16th and April 5th, my divorce calls probably increased 70%. Wow. And at first I was just taking them, taking them, taking them. And then I was like, hold on, this is ridiculous. Harriet Lampkin is a divorce lawyer based in South Carolina, which is also under a stay-at-home order. And she says her phone has been ringing off the hook. All of this time and this togetherness, I find that couples are saying, hey, we don't have anything in common or... I may love you, but I really don't like you. Finances and unresolved conflicts have also been factors in couples calling it quits. There's so much death around COVID-19. People are reevaluating their life. So what can you do to keep your relationship healthy during these uncertain times? Dr. Kia James, a therapist and podcaster in Prince George's County, says communicate, have some fun, and seek help if you need it. Hack into how they're actually feeling. So don't just assume that because they're sitting on the couch relaxed that they are actually in a great space. Well, this is what I'm telling my single friends now. Marry somebody you can be quarantined with. This is a new requirement. Marry someone you can be quarantined with. It matters because you just never know.